humans have been replaced by machines, but these machines, they were created by some other humans. So that's that's one step. Going into AI, I think that for the next few years, three to five years, I, I don't think that a lot of jobs will be cut, maybe a bit later. So I, I think it's going to be like a few years where machines like, you know, AI and machine learning um, will collaborate with humans. So, you know, humans, uh, I mean, even, even as it happens today, like, you know, with all whatever, like large language models uh, happen, you know, um, we they have not replaced humans, but they are actually working with them. So, you know, there are going to be like a few years where humans will be with machines. And then uh, I honestly think that machines they, and, you know, AI will replace some jobs. So, for example, if we take like uh, the the financial markets, there are actually uh, <clears throat> each broker they have their own back office system. But if you look like the trend is that uh, the, uh, the, um, uh, the 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 AI and the machine learning will actually get the, the documents from from a trader that it has been signed up. It will check them and you know it will pass them to a, a human which. I mean, for the next few years, it will press that, yeah, they are correct. Instead of having someone, you know, typing, uh, yeah, that's Harry Dunn, uh, Christo, yeah, that's the ID. Where you have, you can you can have like a machine learning where it can read it and it can insert it. So that's, I think, for the next three to five years. And then I think, you know, some jobs, they will be replaced by AI, but some other jobs, they will be created actually in AI and machine learning, they will be more like in the uh, science, uh, computer divisions, that, that's the area that I, I expect to be uh, created the jobs. So some form of like an augmented reality yeah. where with wearables or you've seen Elon Musk's Neuralink, I'm sure. Yeah. <clears throat> they actually implanted that in a human uh, yeah. recently who was uh, is paralyzed, yeah. I think. Uh, and this person is not able to play one of his favorite games just by thinking of the moves that he wants to do. I can't remember which game it was, but yeah, uh, yeah that's incredible stuff, right? Yeah, I mean, I mean, that's that's maybe too early to think, but it, it certainly shows where we will be like in 10, maybe 15 years max from now. So in case someone wants to have this uh, in, in their brain, they can be done. I think maybe the, uh, the future is augmented reality with having everything on like on, on your eyes, maybe even on, on the glasses. So that's maybe the, the, the future, but we are still need some time there. Yeah. I think, you know, opening someone's skull and, uh, um, you know, uh, operating on the brain may be too intrusive for many. Uh, and uh, I think for the very, I agree with that. It's uh, more wearables, more, you know, yeah. which we on the outside contact lenses that read on different things um, and, and augmented reality. Did you see the latest uh, chat GPT 4.0? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we are actually, you know, kind of interested in the whole spectrum of, of AI and machine learning. So, I mean, what, what, what the guys are doing, I mean, it's, it's incredible. I mean, that's open AI. So it's not uh, like any other company that, you know, you. I mean, operates in that space. So I think OpenAI is, is a few years ahead of uh, if, if we if we compare it with uh, companies that they have created other uh, large language models like Mistral or even uh, Metas or even uh, 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 Elon Musk, Grok, I think. So they are a bit ahead. And if you compare like uh, GPT-4 or GPT-4 with GPT-3.5, you, you will understand the difference. So I think, you know, we have to expect a few things from GPT-5, but what we see in GPT-4 is, is, you know, is, is what we, you know, um, what, what, what comes actually, you know, that in real time, it can analyze video, text, everything. And, you know, that's, that's in the area of, of general, AI and if you if you see AI models, they are actually huge. And I don't know if you have seen how much does it cost to train this model. It it costs like a lot of millions just to train them. 
<laughs> so it's it's impossible for us actually to compete them. But what 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 people are doing is that you're fine tuning them. And I see that you know in the next I would say two years, these models they will be applied into finance. Like you know, okay, can this analyze some financial markets? Uh, the question then, okay, where is the alpha? Because everyone has it. But yeah, I see that for the next few years, they're, they're going to be like a uh, um, combination of traders and these models. If you like that video and you want to watch the full episode, it's available here. Remember to like, subscribe and share. It helps the channel.